Cosi knows how to get the viewers talking because which one is I'm pregnant? Hey, good. Where is I am pregnant coming from? Where is the pregnancy coming from? Where is that statement coming from? I don't understand. She really knows how to get the viewers talking. Trust me. And you know, uh, it was crazy because Yemi was trying to like deny it, like, oh, we've not even gotten to that place. How come? But there was a conversation they had that made it seem like they've actually had sex. So these people want to confuse me, but in turn, they are confusing themselves because I have chosen not to be confused, guys. Like, what the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zinni and I'm back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're joining me for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Now, please smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. You can also turn on your post notification to be alerted when I post a new video. You know the vibes. I'm sure you do. Without further ado, let's go straight into this video. So last night, Yemi and Kosi had their usual late night conversation. And this time around, Kosi was threatening or she was saying that she was going to confront Blue for the second time can you imagine so ask blue oh if she's still interested in um yemi because remember yemi flirted with blue or he was talking to blue basically at the garden and kosi saw the both of them together so she was she, she told yemi she was going to confront blue and yemi told her oh no not to confront blue. like she should actually talk to kanaga because blue listens to kanaga so she should talk to kanaga about whatever it is she want to say and kanaga would definitely speak to blue mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm like, why are you even advising her to talk to Blue's partner? Why are you talking to Blue? I mean, why do you need to ask her if she's still interested in Yemi? If she's interested in Yemi, what's your business? Is Yemi your boyfriend? Is he your fiance? Is he your husband that somebody else cannot be interested in? I don't understand because you were caught. Or you were exposed basically your fling whatever with tabang was exposed right so if you can have a side piece why or someone is allowed to have a crush on you that's tabang why can't someone else have a crush on yemi i don't understand why do you feel the need to even confront yemi um confront blue rather anyways he told her initially that he had a good news and a bad news and the bad news was her intention to confront blue about yemi for the second time and then the good news you know she was kind of hesitant to say it and yemi was like okay what's the good news what's the good news and then she said she's pregnant and i'm like and Yemi was confused. He was like, pregnant for who? Like, we haven't even gotten there. And it's kind of confusing because they've once had a conversation that, you know, instituted that they've actually knocked, you feel me? And, you know, in that conversation, um, Kosi was telling Yemi that, oh, she didn't like the fact that he came, you know, that it wasn't fair, that they, um, they were close, basically, and he made her more hornier. And, you know, Yemi was like, oh, that I didn't even know that I came and all of that. And then he said the conversation was awkward. Actually, I don't like the fact that you came. Why do you I like think it's not fair. You feel like it's not fair? No, because we got so close, which made me even more honey. And for some reason, we were able to sort I didn't well. know that I came until, like, if this conversation is really awkward. So I'm confused. Like, how could, what could they have possibly done, you know, that led to the whole, you came, but I didn't know I came, or oh, this conversation is awkward. Like, why is it awkward if you all didn't even had have um you know sexual intercourse you feel me why is it awkward yes if you all just smashed or just you know made out it shouldn't be awkward i mean what's there you feel me so that's the that is a speculation or an evidence that these people have had something sexual now him now telling her that but we've not even gotten there is now more confusing because okay why do you all not have that conversation about you came or i didn't know i came we also had problem in the paradise of the Kanaga and Taxi ship, yes. Kanaga promised Taxi a massage, but it seemed like it was wasting time, so she got an offer from Ibubu, her partner. And she even went to get the oil that Kanaga wanted to use on her body, and she gave it to Ibubu to, you know, massage her, basically. Okay. She exposed me, like a massage type of yeah, thing. Yeah, Kanaga has a, a booty cake. I'll take it. Okay, so just connect it my own hoping. Thank you really. so much. And she threw a shade and she was like, oh, a partner that cares, you feel me? And while he was, I think, giving her a massage or at the dressing room and he was like, oh, I don't know what you're up to with this BS, you feel me? Like, 
why are you bringing this beer stuff like that and she laughed about it she and justin now when he got back to the bed you know she um she was kind of trying to pacify him that oh that it wasn't really a big deal like that that um you should not be offended she was basically apologizing and she was not asking him okay what are we and stuff and he was like we are war what's going on it's a war why it's a war what's going on it's a war what's going on it's a war 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 it's a Ojumeji, what was that his name? That uh, we are for the Nigerians. You, I'm sure you'll be familiar with this. I'm a war. I'm a fight. I'm an indaboski pause. That kind of stuff. Yes. So I, I feel that's what he meant by we am um, we are war or something like that. And she didn't get the message. He wasn't really having it. You know, he was like, oh, can we go to bed and stuff? But eventually they squashed the beef and you know they slept heavily ever after. I was like, what kind of sweet fight is this one? This one did not even last. Step. Very not toxic at all. It is so not toxic. Unlike the Kosi and Yem, they would have drag this matter oh my god that'd be so lengthy there was even the time they had a conversation till 4 a.m i'm like no it's not me and you people it's not me and you people i need to go and sleep because what see how peaceful it was they scratched the whole beef with i love you she was even you know i fuck with you and he was like oh i love you too you feel me cool calm and collected not toxic toxicity at its peak i beg last night we also had tabang and blue and it was kind of shocking because i mean i've seen the is should i say sibling mass sibling mass like the relationship friendship between tabang and blue i've seen it lately you feel me and i'm like okay when did this one start anyways tabang and blue had a conversation mm, last night and you know tabang was kind of telling blue that oh at least he has black boy to lean on whenever things are really not that good you know black boy really cares about her genuinely and stuff but him is just everyone's playing clever they say that Tabanga is underrated in the house because he's a player. You know, it's the fact that he knows that whatever Nelisa and Kosi are doing with him is just a game, right? Now, let me tell you something here. Eh? I feel he likes Kosi. He has a soft spot for her. But it's the fact that he still realizes that it's a game at the end of the day. You feel me? Like, he's not, he knows he has emotions for her, but he doesn't let it um, get in the way of the game. You feel me? Because that's what he, he literally told Blue that everyone was just playing clever. And that includes Kosi and Nelisa. Yes, he's aware of what Kosi is doing is aware of what Nelisa is doing as well so he's just going along with the, with the game and look at him still doing perfectly fine in the um in the arena games or the activities in the house you feel me anyways that's that about the shenanigans that happened late last night but yesterday before the HOH game Yemi was seen going from one housemate to the other you know seeking for listening here for them to listen to his plights and i'm like okay what's happening what is his problem who see now for those i mean you're already aware that Big Brother exposed Tabang and Kosi. And that's, you know, Yemi really handled it well. But, you know, yesterday he was restless. He went to Nelisa and Tati and, you know, he told them how livid he was about the whole situation because he even supported um, Kosi and Tabang's friendship. He told the both of them together that he actually likes what they have. He likes their friendship. And, you know, he asked them, like, imagine me saying that to the both of them. And they all laughed because it's funny. Like, you're telling these two people that you like their friendship, whereas they've been frolicking behind your back. You feel me? That um, there were times that when he won head of house, you know, she went to him. There were lots of hugging. There were lots of, you know, touching and all of that. This was even before she saw him in the scissors position. or I think during the scissors position or so. And, you know, it was like kind of... It was some type of way like he, he actually supported them and he feels so stupid. He feels like he's a player that even when he saw her in that kind of position or in that type of way with her bank, he decided to, you know, play the game by moving to blue and she told him not to. And now look at this, like he feels so sad about the whole situation. GCJ just came to, you know, play play with him and mimic him and just crack jokes and all of that. Kanaga Jr. was also part of the conversation. He met Kanaga Jr. again in the locker room and he was still complaining about the same thing. He met Nelisa again and he was still complaining about the same thing. Now, this time around, he was telling Nelisa that, oh, that they had a conversation about the guys she finds attractive in the house. He mentioned himself, Yemi, and, um uh marvin and even canada Jr. You know, that tabang was not on the list now of recent they had the same conversation and tabang came on the list and she was like okay how did he was like okay how did tabang come on the list like he feels like it's not worth it at all this is what he has been trying to avoid i'm just really i'm just really pissed at the way because he's handling this whole situation i'm angry about something you did and you're being on the muscle about it 
gave miracle attention today and of course they were talking about yemi now according to kosi kosi said when yemi is biting she's surrendering and when she's surrendering yemi is biting that it's just a vicious cycle something of that sort like you know and she also said that um she felt like she was played you know in the situation she took charge of the situation you know that's she doing her revenging basically you know play with the bang and all of that so she doesn't care what anyone says f what anyone says about the whole thing you know? first of all I was played, I know, but and then I decided to take control of the situation. Okay, okay, look, 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 what look, anyone else thinks. Okay, Miyako was just there from there. They switched to talking about other relationships and even outside the house. And Miyako told her that ah, just one percent of relationships that work outside the house, and she was doubting. Then they started mentioning Groovy and Fina, uh, um, Shakes and Bella, and you know, Mary Miyako was so sure that these two ships have sank, like. They are no longer in existence and i'm like guy where is your info coming from like where is your info coming from that these ships have sunk like how are you so sure you're talking with so much confidence you feel me anyways guys i saw yemi afterwards in the garden we live and i'm like okay 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 is this playboy coming back because you know he was teasing her telling her that oh she knows he knows what's going on between he between her and black boy and they're getting there and what's what's her name again blue eva was like oh getting there she's trying to feign ignorance that she doesn't know what you is talking about if you guys are getting there getting where <laughs> let me stop talking anyways he complimented her and he told her that she looked good that's why he ran away you know and um blue eva was like you can't run forever you cannot run from ever forever and she said um he said rather that um he's athletic so he's good in running he can do whatever he wants to do he held her hand and he kissed her hand and she was like oh that's not what she wants and he was like i know what you want you're not gonna get it for now for now guys keywords for now you look really good so i have to run away from you don't run for long. I'm an sure? athlete. Sure? I can run. I'm good at running. Sure? Then Blue Eva got to Blue Eva that we all know. I say, you know, wiggling her ass. <laughs> and you know, Yemi was just there sampling. It was sampling. <laughs> and then he later said, Oh, you go. And then she left. You know, this her weird laughter. She left and she went forward. Oh, yeah, now be going now. Like, like, she just leaned backward. And you know, she was wearing this mini skirt. Oh my god, and this cropped up. And he was just there biting his lower leaves. Ah, he was like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she eventually left, and you know, she passed Tabang, Kosi, and Nana. Yes, they were together. And she passed them, right? She even talked to Tabang, and Yemi followed. So that was where Kosi saw that both of them were together and she confronted him after the whole H2H game, okay? So I, said, I just like to fill you in. What do you think about uh, this whole, um, you know, drama that happened? Because even when he conf when Kosi confronted him, he said, oh, he wasn't go back, going to go back to his playboy type of way and all that. And he already told Blue Eva that, okay, he, she's not going to get what she wants for now. What does that for now mean? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can also turn on your post notification to be notified when I post a new video. You know the vibes now. See you guys in my next video once again. Bye.